Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of This vs. That. Been a while, been a long while. We finally got out after three months of quarantine. And uh, well, I got me a little wireless mic here to test out. If you guys are into business, you know that Rode has a wireless mic that everyone's going goo goo ga ga over. Uh, it's been a really popular mic. And I finally found a maker that make the same mic for half the price. So today, what we're doing is we are reviewing the Pixel Vocal Air. And you're hearing it straight off of here. Rode intro. All right guys, so welcome back. The reason why you would have something like this is because uh, for in this instance, I'm using a 35 millimeter lens, which on an APS-C is about 55 millimeter. I don't know the math, but that's what they say. Um, pretty far. So with the boom mic, it's a bit harder to pick up the sound. Uh, with the wireless mic like this, obviously it's, it's on you all the time. And so it's really easy to just talk into it. Um, I do not have like a dead cat on here uh, so out here it's pretty windy and so that may not be a good thing uh, from a range perspective I mean doesn't matter if I walk back or forward you can still hear my voice just fine um, so this is going to be a range test and I'm gonna continually walking back and also uh, with the boom mic when you turn your back like this, usually it doesn't work uh, with the boom mic uh, because boom mic blocks out everything behind it and only takes in the, uh, the sound there in front of it. With this one, it doesn't matter if I turn or not, it should still work just fine. Uh, the only problem with wireless mic is that the uh, obstruction of view, I guess is what you call it. So if I were, if there was a wall between the the camera and me um, wouldn't hear it will probably cut the, the reception off like halfway um, so yeah right now I'm pretty far away okay I think what we need to do now is we definitely need to do a range test so that range test right there was just a little sample I think we're gonna do a even further range test all right so here's what we're gonna do I'm going to take this I'm going to put it right here I'm going to record that field over there it's pretty far away so I'm, I'm going to run all the way over there all right we're going to walk way out here Okay, so I'm still talking. Let me know if y'all see me. Still. How does, how does that sound? Pretty good? You know, um, I'm not sure, but this is kind of unobstructive view. So I think the sound quality should be just fine. Uh, so my phone just did the Wi-Fi. So let's see if this thing will last. That was a, a long walk, way up that hill. I hope you guys heard me when I was uh, all the way up there. I lost signal. I lost signal to the phone, to the camera. So I couldn't see how far I was going. But hopefully this mic still picked up. Okay, so what I want to do now is I'm going to switch it out to, from the wireless mic over to the Rode View Micro that's on top of my camera right now. I want to swap that out and let you guys hear the different quality, okay? Switching.
Okay, so I did all of this in one take. I didn't even stop the camera to do that. Hopefully it works. <laughs> so, all right, what do you guys think? I'm a few feet away from the actual camera. Again, this is 35 millimeter, that shallow depth of field. Uh, a lot of time, it's, it's great to shoot with this lens, but with the boom mic like this, I really have to yell in order to get the boom mic to pick it up because I'm so far away. Uh, but yeah, uh, again, a lot, lot of winds out here. I mean, let's do the hair test. You see the hair? Yeah, a lot of wind out here, but with that dead cat on there, I, I know it's not gonna be a problem at all. Only problem is that not sure if it picks up right here. I'm gonna walk back a few uh, feet and see if it still picks up. That's the real disadvantage about the boom mic is that it probably won't pick up the sound very well. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip back to the wireless mic and then we're gonna do a little test on the internal uh, mic that's, that's on the wireless mic there and let you guys hear what the sound quality is like. All right. Okay, I'm switching back. Unplugging. Okay, so I've switched back. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to unplug this mic and use the internal mic that's on here. Testing one, two, three, one, two, three. This is a test with the internal mic. What do you guys think? So the one interesting thing about this is that the uh, both devices have a little LCD screen that you can really see. Even out here in the bright sunlight, I can still see this. And I see that it's uh, the wavelength is hopping, so that means that it is going through. I can see that the little device over there, the wavelength is also hopping, so that's going through. Um, there's a little um, DB gain on here that you can control. So right now, um, you're probably hearing a lot of wind noise because I'm outside, there's, no, there's nothing to prevent this thing from lavalier mic on here at least has, has a little muffle that will block out some of that wind noise but yeah what do you guys think huh I'm gonna turn up the gain real quick and let you guys see what the difference is so I'm, I'm at 10 dB right now uh, hopefully that increased the volume quite a bit yeah all right going back to zero because I don't want it to peak There you go back to zero so yeah there you go that is the internal mic and the wind just picked up so i'm going to plug back in and now you're listening with the lovely mic so yeah guys that's it that is the test for the pixel vocal air cost about half the price of what the rode wireless mic would uh, would cost you and so far so good i like it has USB-C charging, which charges really fast. Has all the little bells and whistles that you would really need. Um, the entire thing is made out of plastic. Not expecting too much out of it. The, uh, there's a little clip that goes on top of it. Um, there's a little clip here that you can clip on onto things. I can clip on my shirt, things like that. The whole thing comes with a little nice package. So not too bad for a hundred bucks. All right, guys, so the last thing that I want to do with this Pixel Voico Air is I want to combine it with the Rode Video Micro, one of my favorite boom mic, right? And so as I told you earlier, I kind of have to stand right here for the, my voice to really get picked up. Um, if I start walking backwards, it's not going to pick up at all. So what if I combine these two things? and put it into something like this. Here's the Pixel Voico Air. Here's the Rode Video Micro. I just put it on a little mini tripod. And so now I can actually walk away. The wind doesn't bother me. I can still talk, right? Maybe uh, hide it up on a tree right here somewhere. I don't know. What do y'all think? But, yep, what do you guys think about this noise here? I mean, there's a lot of little 
what do you call these, kakadas that's in the tree. The reason why I love doing uh, my video here is because of this fountain. It is super loud. So I wanted to try this out to see if you guys can pick it up or not. So if, if I turn this, if, if I turn my mic away from, from the fountain, it probably would pick up a, a lot less noise than if I were to turn over here with the mic towards it. And there's the Kakata going crazy right now. The thing about the boom mic that I really love is that if you turn it away, you can really... If you turn it away, you can really um, block out the noise from back there. Wow, those Kakata are loud. All right, guys, so that's it for me today. I just wanted to combine that to see how it works. Uh, a lot of wind out here. I'm pretty sure it blocks out a lot of the wind because of this big old dead cat right here. All right. If you like this video, be sure to hit like. And uh, I guess you should subscribe to me. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye-bye. I'm still here behind the camera. Bye-bye.